the beautiful weather wasn't enough to, enough to let you know, maybe the clutter in your house is. It is spring, and for many of us, that means spring cleaning, or at least it should. Some people, though, shy away from the task simply because they don't even know where or how to start. So for today's Take Action Thursday, Tara Donahue with Organize It is here with some tips. And Tara is also going to take your phone calls for our Take Action Thursday in just a few minutes. So we're going to tell you how to get in touch with us. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so it's not always as much about spring cleaning as it is about spring organizing, getting right. rid of stuff you don't necessarily need. Right, spring decluttering. Well, how do we, first of all, how do we always get ourselves into this mess? How are we, the, you know, the people that collect so much, store so much, and can't seem to let it go? Why are we just naturally like that? Well, I think overall Americans are instant gratification people. Yeah. So we see something, we buy it, we take it home. We haven't really thought through where it's going to stay, where we're going to store it, how we're going to use it. Is it replacing a broken item? Right. We just kind of buy and then worry about it later. And then before you know it, you can barely move because all the things have taken over the house. Exactly. All right, so you say that there are three separate areas where you can start to think about organizing. What's the first one? Absolutely. The first one, I think, is the pantry and or the freezer, depending mm -hmm. on, on your house and how things are laid out. Because what we tend to do over the winter is we cook certain things. If there's leftovers, we put them in the freezer. Yeah. We buy certain items for our pantry that are maybe more seasonal. Uh, uh -huh. You know, the oatmeal, the pastas, the beans, more soups and stocks. And then in the summer, we don't tend to use those items, so they just take up space. You know, I, I just cleaned out my pantry and it's amazing what you'll find in there that is, is expired. You can't even use the stuff. You maybe bought it for a recipe like I do and then I never do that particular recipe and it just sits there and it's something I'm never going to use for anything else. Right, exactly. So the step one is going through your pantry and freezer and just checking expiration Everything. dates. Everything, okay. And anything that's obviously expired, get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> it should be obvious. Um, the next place in the house, where, where's the other big spot? The next big one, especially for the spring, is the garage because people tend to use it more. They want mm -hmm. the kids' bikes. They want things more accessible. The lawnmower be able to get to those sort of things. So moving through the garage is a great place to do that. Hang stuff up higher that your snow shovels and things that maybe we hopefully don't need anymore this right. year. And uh, rotate down the items that you do need, the stuff for the gardening, the kids' toys for the summer, the things okay. that you use outside. And then there is a third major place, but we're going to get to that coming up right after the break because it might take some time to talk <laughs> about this third place. Tara is going to take your phone calls coming up after the break. So if you you have a question about where to begin your spring cleaning and organizing, <laughs> our phone lines are open now at 410-481-4545. And of course, you can also send us a tweet at Fox Baltimore or go through our Facebook page. 752 is the time. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning.